Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today in Vintage Fridays, we're gonna check out this vintage piece of tech. Check this thing out, we got ourselves a vintage Acorn Electron from 1983. This was running BBC Basic, so it spoke the most language of school children, because most school children were using the BBC. When I was in primary school, we had two BBCs, one in the infants, one in the juniors. And when I was in secondary school, the place was littered with BBC Micros. It came out in 1983, it's got a 2 MHz processor, 32 kilobytes of RAM and 32 kilobytes of ROM and running basic, I think, version 1.0. And this one, unlike the ZX81, it's got a, look at that, check it out, it's got a proper keyboard. And you'll see on the keys here, it's got different commands such as end, proc, colour and so on. You can just type out the word colour, C-O-L-O-U-R or C-O-L-O-R for you Americans. But if you didn't want to type colour, you could just press shift caps lock or function uh, caps funk or caps lock and then press the C. I think that's how you did it. It came out as color, but unlike the spectrum, you didn't have to. If you wanted to just type color, repeat else, and so on, then you could just type it out and away you go. Now, on the side here, on the side, we got ourselves a TV socket there, so you can plug it into your TV again. UHF channel 36 doesn't if your TV doesn't receive BBC2, then your TV is no good. You've got a composite connection there. So you could uh, use it with uh, like a monitor or on the AV of your TV, get a better quality picture. Here you've got a connection there for uh, one of the micro Vitec or VTEC monitors like you had on the BBC to get even higher quality picture. And here you have a cassette port because games and software were stored on a cassette. Or you could get some add-ons to this to make it have a disk drive and so on. This side here, this has got the power supply connection there and that is a 19 volt supply. And on the back here, we've got ourselves an expansion connector there. Let's take the plastic off, because I've still got a plastic on one. It's this bit of plastic, it must be nearly 40 odd years old, check it out. And here's our edge connector. And on here, you can plug things in like a plus one interface. And that gave you so things such as a joystick port, a printer port, and some cartridge ports. You can run cartridge software, making uh, just plug the cartridge in, turn the machine on, it loads up instantly. You can have a plus three interface, which gave you a disk drive. And uh, you can you can use a three and a half inch disk drive for this. Although the babes at the time at school were still using a five and a quarter inch disk drive. I'm sure you can get um adapter to use a five and a quarter inch disk drive for this. And that just fits on the edge connector there. And when you connect it, connect it up, there's two screw holes there. Screw it down to make it nice and secure. And for those playing along at home, let's check these numbers out at the back here. So we've got 07 ALA 01 00650 060. And it says Acorn Computer Limited 1982. Acorn Electron designed in the UK. Check it out. Yes, yeah, UK, you don't see that anything, anything anymore. Designed in the UK. It all comes from China and stuff. But this is the Acorn Electron. It runs a cut down version of the BBC Basic. Now, if you wrote a program in BBC Basic, it'd work on this. Um, but if you had some software like games and stuff, then the games wouldn't work. I remember having it, my neighbour having this, and I had a BBC. I wanted to play Snapper. I couldn't. It kept saying this game's only available for, available for an Acorn Electron. It's still that line, the game runs too fast. And uh, I think the Elite was available for this as well. Yeah, games come on cassette. Or you could use a disk drive with one of the add-ons. But most people just used the Acorn itself and the cassette to play all their games. Such as Phoenix and the Fruit Monsters. Um, what was the other ones we used to play? Phoenix and the Fruit Monsters. We used to play Frack. I think the Frack on this was actually black and white, not colour like the BBC. And we used to play things like Acorn Soft Snapper. And JCB Digger and stuff, yeah, that's it. We used to play back in the day, and many more games on the Acorn. Although Askell didn't have any Acorn uh, let, um, games on the computer, because if you caught playing games, you just take a disc away from you. But we used to play like the mass games and stuff. I think cool, we're playing computer games at, at school. Anyhow, that's a quick look at an old Acorn Electron from 1983 with a rather nice keyboard. If you found it some use or you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like the video, the other button seems to work too. As always, thank you very much for watching Vintage Fridays and I'll see you in the next video.